Good morning. Welcome to your daily dose of God time as we finish our week's emphasis on the Word of God. Today, uh, I want us to look again, borrowing some information from Daily Hope by Rick Warren. But I want us to talk about why you should memorize Scripture. If you've been around me, you know this is a big thing for me. I, I try to memorize a verse of Scripture a week. I've done that ever since Mike's story uh, challenged me all the way back in college. And it gives you a plethora of scripture that you can just draw from and meditate on as you're driving down the road. Or it gives you a battle sword that you can pick up whenever you're facing temptation or you're in the heat of it with someone else and trying to give advice. Listen, the word of God is never wrong advice. So I want to talk to you about why should you memorize scripture. If you're serious about being spiritually strong and mature, the greatest habit you can develop is memorizing Scripture. In fact, the Bible says in James 1.25, it's one of the four habits that leads to a blessed life. It says, whoever looks intently into the perfect law and continues in it, not forgetting what they have heard, but doing it, they will be blessed by what they do. Okay, let me break that down. So first, read your Bible. It says, whoever looks intently, and then not just read it, review it, or study it, right? It says, and continues in it. And then remember the Bible. So read your Bible, review the Bible. Remember the Bible, not forgetting what they have heard. And then you respond to it, but doing it. Now, I want to talk to you about not forgetting what they have heard, that third point. You don't want to be a spiritual baby anymore. I mean, I have this grandson, and he just went from milk, and he's still on milk, yes, but, but the doctor says, listen, this boy's growing 10 ounces a week. You need to put him on some solid food. Your body's not going to be able to sustain it. He's growing like crazy. Well, here's the thing. I'm starting to feed him, right? So, so here I was feeding him. He had sweet potatoes, and, I'm, and he, the boy loves sweet potatoes. I mean, he's like his grandma. And, and so I, I'm trying to feed him, and here's what he does. He reaches out, grabs my hand that has a spoon, and thrusts it toward his mouth at the same time, pushing his mouth forward. He was He's ready to eat, right? Well, I pray that we would have that kind of a hunger for the Word of God. But you know what's even better than that? It's going to be the day he picks up his own spoon, and he grabs it, and he dips it, and he controls it, and it doesn't create this Picasso painting on his face because he can feed himself. Well, spiritually, you don't want to be a spiritual baby anymore. It's time to grow up and live the blessed life you're meant to live. Hiding God's word in your heart is an important way to start. It's one of the ways that you feed yourself. Now, now you might be saying, I don't have a good memory. But you remember what's important to you. You remember the phone numbers and the dates that you care about. I've heard people say they can't memorize a thing, but then they quote every song from the 70s or they rattle off statistics of their favorite baseball players. Memory is a skill you can learn. It's a muscle you can strengthen. In fact, memorizing scripture will cause your brain to have stronger memory in other areas. I guarantee it. Matter of fact, a friend of mine who is a medical doctor says memorizing scripture is a good exercise for those who have uh, early or who have in their past uh, genetics, Alzheimer's. Study after study has shown this. So why is it important to study scriptures? Well, one, you'll always have God's word with you. When you're tempted, you won't have a Bible open or by your side. When you're witnessing to someone who doesn't know Jesus, is under stress, needs comfort, or is in crisis, there's usually not a Bible around. You need God's word in your mind so you can remember it and review it right when you need it. Well, the second thing the second benefit is that you can meditate on Scripture wherever you go. You can't review God's Word unless you remember it. If you've memorized Scripture, you can think about it when you get in bed at night or as you drive to an appointment. You can think about the Bible because you've memorized it. That's called meditation. The only promise of prosperity and success that God gives us in the Bible says that meditating on His Word is the key in Joshua 1.8. Also, it's also a key to prosperity in uh, Psalm 1, verses uh, 2 and 3. So start memorizing Scripture today. Pick a verse a week. In a year, you'll memorize 52 verses. In two years, you'll memorize more than 100 verses. I've had a chance to do this now over 30 years. You can do the math. 
God is very kind whenever you have his word. Now, you already, some of you already knows the, know the ways that you memorize best. What tools, what tactics, and what people can help you to memorize scripture? Let me, I'm going to give you real quickly three keys to scripture memory. You ready? Okay, this is tough. It's going to be hard to remember, but this will be your first memory exercise. Number one, review. Number two, review. Number three, review. You review it. Like for me, if I want to review a passage of scripture, uh, say John 15, 7, right? If you abide in me and my word abides in you, you ask whatever you wish and it shall be done for you, John 15, 7. See what I did there? I put the reference on the front side and on the back side. It helps me to know where that comes from. Because it's not just enough to have a phrase of the Bible. It's good to know where you can flip to if they say, where's that in the Bible? You can turn right to it. Well, then the, the, the last thing. How do you respond when God brings scripture to mind in certain circumstances? I mean, if God gives you a scripture, you understand, scripture is always the will of God. The bulk of the will of God is found in the word of God. When God brings a scripture to your mind, how do you respond to it? How should you respond to it? Well, I'll make that simple. It's also my prayer for you today that as you have scripture that God has revealed to you, you obey it. Let me pray for you. Father, in Jesus' name, thank you so much for my friends. Help them, Father, to ingest God's word on their own. That, Father, your word would be like honey sitting on their tongue. That, Lord, they would love it. They would memorize it. And that, Father, whenever spiritual battle happens, they would wield it like a mighty sword, a two-edged sword that cuts asunder soul and sinew, dividing open the very intent and heart of a matter. Father, would you do this in them now? In Jesus' name, amen. Well, I hope you have a great day. Go be salt and light. Love God. Love people.